Today, we're going to use a slinky to show us how the stretching and squashing of light can tell us about the motions of stars and galaxies in the cosmos. Humans have always used light to gather information about the world around them. Light from the sun is reflected off objects and is picked up by our eyes and allows us to learn about those things. Astronomers are no different. When astronomers look to the sky to study distant galaxies, light emitted from the stars and gas in those galaxies is the main thing that astronomers use to learn about those distant cosmic objects. But what actually is light? Light is what we call electromagnetic radiation and it travels through space as a wave. You can think about waves travelling through the ocean where the water goes up and down and back up again as the ripples pass across the water. An important characteristic of waves is what we call the wavelength, which is the distance between two peaks of the wave. Today we're going to visualise this with slinkies, where we can imagine that each link in the slinky is a wave, and so the distance between two links is the wavelength. Light can have a wide range of different wavelengths. Many wavelengths of light, such as X-rays or radio waves, our eyes can't see. Today we're going to focus on the kind of light that our eyes can see, visible light. When our eyes pick up light, the colour of that light is determined by the wavelength. Shorter wavelengths of light will appear blue to our eyes, while longer wavelengths will appear red. But when astronomers look at distant stars and galaxies, sometimes the colours can change due to what we call blue shift and red shift. But what do we actually mean by that? Have you ever stood by the side of the road as an ambulance is driven past? You may have noticed that as the ambulance is driving towards you, the pitch of the siren sounds higher, but when it drives past you and starts dri driving away from you, the pitch of the siren sounds lower. This is because sound travels as a wave. When the ambulance is moving towards you, the waves get bunched up and squashed together, and so the wavelength of that sound is shorter. When the ambulance is driving away, the waves get stretched out and so the wavelength becomes longer. We call this stretching and squashing of waves a Doppler shift. And the same thing can happen with light. With sound we hear this as changes in the pitch, but with light we see it as changes in the colour. So when our objects move towards each other, the shorter wavelengths appear bluer in colour. We call this blue shift. When our objects move away from each other, the longer wavelengths appear as red or light. This is called red shift. Now, cars don't change colour when they drive past us on the road. That's because things need to be moving much faster to be able to see this Doppler shifting with light. But stars and galaxies in the cosmos are moving very fast, fast enough that if we're careful, astronomers can actually see this red shifting and blue shifting. In this animation, we have a star here that, when stationary, looks the same from all directions. But when it starts moving, you can see that the wavelengths on one side get bunched up, while on the other side they get stretched out. If we were to look at this star from the right of screen, it would appear somewhat bluer, while if we were to look at it from the left of screen, it would look redder to us. The faster a star or galaxy is moving toward us or away from us, the more the light will be blue shifted or red shifted. Astronomers can use this to map out the motions of galaxies in the sky. Imagine two galaxies orbiting around each other. Perhaps they're even about to collide with each other. In reality, the distances involved are so large that it would take longer than a human lifetime to watch these galaxies orbiting in real time. But we can still look at what's going on here by using what we've learned about the Doppler shift. Let's put our slinkies into this picture. We can see that the galaxy on the left is moving away from us at this stage in the orbit so its light will be red-shifted. The other galaxy is moving towards us, so its light is going to be blue-shifted. Even though astronomers cannot watch these galaxies orbit around each other in real time, the red-shifting and blue-shifting of light allows astronomers to determine how fast these galaxies are moving. We can do the same thing to determine how fast galaxies are spinning. Again, it would take much longer than a human lifetime to observe one full rotation of a galaxy. But astronomers can still measure how fast they're rotating by looking at the red shifting and blue shifting of light. As the galaxy spins, light from one side is blue shifted, while light from the other side is red shifted. 
We can see this also in this animation. We can see that on the left hand side here, things are moving away from us, and so their light appears redshifted. But on the right hand side, things are moving towards us, and so their light is blue shifted. How much one side is red shifted by and the other is blue shifted by can tell us how fast galaxies are rotating. So far we've learned about Doppler redshifting and blue shifting. Another type of redshifting that astronomers observe when they look at distant galaxies is what we call cosmological redshift. The universe we live in is expanding. When light travels through space from distant galaxies, it travels for millions or sometimes even billions of years. Travelling so far through an expanding universe, the wavelength of the light itself also gets stretched due to this expansion. This is called cosmological redshift. Beyond a certain distance, cosmological redshift dominates over Doppler shifting, and all galaxies beyond this distance are seen to be redshifted. The most distant galaxies have their light redshifted so much that what was once visible light actually becomes infrared light that we can no longer see with our own eyes. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by the beautiful spiral galaxies we can see with telescopes. The galaxies we see in the universe today have been shaped by a complex history of star formation, collisions and mergers, gas flowing in and then being blown back out of galaxies. By observing the red shifting and blue shifting of light from galaxies, we can learn a lot about their motions through the cosmos, as well as the internal motions of gas and stars within them. Understanding all of these pieces is critical to understanding how spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way came to be. Astro3D is the Australian Research Council's Centre of Excellence for all sky astrophysics in three dimensions. Our astronomers are searching to understand the evolution of the matter, light and elements from the Big Bang to the present day. This Astro in the Home series is your opportunity to unlock the secrets of the universe with your own two hands. Find out more by visiting our website following us on social media or subscribing to our YouTube channel to be notified whenever we upload new content. Now, go explore the universe.